Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Southwest Virginia Fishing Report with Matt Riley of Matt Riley Fly Fishing. How's it going, Matt? I'm doing great, Marvin. How are you? Uh, just trying to stay out of trouble, uh, digging out from all this goofing off fishing I've been doing. Yeah, well, it's that's a uh, that's a fun thing to do. At least you, at least you got out to or get to get out and fish and, and have some fun. Absolutely. Well, it seems to be that the theme is things are a little wacky and everything's kind of in transition, and we're not quite we were where we would normally expect to be at the end of the first week of October. Yeah, um, I would say so, and maybe not ex- maybe not uh, not where we'd expect to be, but kind of don't really know what's what's uh, coming down the pipe because we've had you know everything from like seasonal august weather to um you know november weather in the last uh week or so and um yeah it's kind of small you know summer small mass season starting to kind of peter out you know we're still having um action on top water um doing pretty well with that um and it does seem like you know seems like the uh um you know, water temps are dropping and things are kind of transitioning a little more into fall. But, uh, if we don't get a whole lot of rain and the temps don't really dip much below where they're at now, you know, fifties and sixties, um, we could still have, um, you know, good sort of summer fishing for another week or two or three, just depending on how the pattern holds. But, uh, yeah, we have had some had to have some rain, uh, the last, I guess it was Saturday and then yesterday and today, um, Tuesday, we've had some rain. In fact, today it rained all day and it was in the, the, uh, low sixties. So, you know, you never know. Drop streams are coming up a little bit in flow. Um, but we're just going to have to see, you know, Sorry, keep doing what we're doing and do what the weather does. Yeah, and I and I'm I'm, I'm assuming the weird weather's kind of pushed out the planned musky fishing for you a little bit too. Um, yeah, but you know, last year was a weird year too. You know, we had a pile of rain all summer and so um, you know, it was kinda it was kind of fall by like, you know, really the first day of fall last year, you know, the first couple of musky I caught I think were September twenty fourth last year. And we had high flow ability and, uh, you know, cool water temps and, and air temps. So, uh, we kind of got a jump start on it last year. Um, in terms of, you know, stream flow, I'd say we're, we're pretty seasonal on the bigger, you know, warm water rivers right now. Um, but yeah, um, I am looking forward to musky fishing and, and I'm going to get after it here pretty soon. Um, I've done some scouting floats and stuff here in the last week but uh still still primarily focused on smallmouth is i've just got a couple of trips left here in the next two weeks or so and then i'll shift my focus for pretty much for good well that's great well listen folks if you've got a question for matt if you'll send it to us on the articulate fly facebook page i will send you some articulate fly swag and you will be entered into a drawing for i believe uh discount coupons for riley rods and you'll get some matt riley original flies too and uh matt it's certainly not a fishing report with you if you don't tell us what you're writing for the rural virginian yeah so um actually not sure what I'm writing for the Royal Virginian yet this week. Um, I'm going to turn that in tomorrow, which it sounds like I should know what I'm writing, but usually I, I kind of pick the topic sort of last minute, but I've got a deadline tonight actually, um, for a piece about, um, a company called Boulder boat works, which is based out of Boulder, Colorado. They make drift boats, um, sort of a unique, blend of the old school and sort of an innovative new school idea you know they a lot of people you know at first glance they look at the boats and they associate the company with this sort of high-end uh interior um they use a lot of wood you know on the inside sort of for the the frame of their drift boats you know casting braces and seats and that kind of thing 
Uh, but really what, what they sort of shine in and what the company's really based on is this um, plastic polymer that they build the holes out of. Makes them really flexible and resilient, um, uh, super durable. They last a long, long time. Um, they're very quiet. And I got to I got to fish those boats up in um, actually musky fishing in Hayward, Wisconsin last year, uh, about this time. And they are at the uh, show in Denver here next week. They're um, showcasing their newest. Uh, boat design, which is sort of a big deal because the company changed hands a couple of years ago. And previous to that, um, they were still kind of riding with the their old classic boats. Didn't have a, you know, had some good boats available, but didn't have a lot of variety. And this is sort of a a new spin on on the old technology and sort of marching the whole uh, brand forward. Well, that's cool, and I will certainly add a link to that in the show notes for the episode. And uh, before I let you go, why don't you let folks know where they can find you so they can book you and fish with you this fall and this winter? Yeah, uh, the website is mattreillyflyfishing.com, and all my social media contact info, um, phone number, email, all that stuff is on there. Um, Any way you want to reach out and get in contact, I'd be glad to hear from you. Well, that's great. Well, listen, folks, get out there and catch a few as we're in this transition season. We actually have maybe a few more opportunities than we normally would this time of year. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, Matt. Yeah, you too, Marvin. <laughs>